is Avery Keenan and I'm going to be teaching you guys about the ruby-throated hummingbird in today's episode of Birding 101. So this is a male hummingbird. As you can see, he's very tiny with long wings, a red throat, black face, and he has an upper green top hat and he has a long bill in order to collect nectar from all of the flowers. So this is a female hummingbird. She's small just like the male and has long wings and a black bill, but she's mostly white and has some green upper parts. So this is a juvenile ruby-throated hummingbird. And you may be wondering, what is a juvenile? A juvenile is sort of a word we use in bird terms. It's kind of like a teenager. They're not quite adults yet, but they're really close. So the juvenile ruby-throated hummingbirds, the both of the genders look alike, so they both look like the female. And then August through September, you start to see red on the neck if it's a male. So this one is a male juvenile hummingbird. So now we are going to listen to a ruby-throated hummingbird call. So some of the different trees female hummingbirds like to make their nest in is oak trees, birch trees, and pine trees. Alrighty, so now I'm going to be showing you guys some hummingbird nests. So this is a hummingbird nest, and as you can see it's very, very small, um, a little bigger than a thimble, and it's really stretchy too because it is made out of uh, spider silk, and then the outside is camouflaged with lichen and moss, so predators cannot see the nest. So these are ruby-throated hummingbird eggs. The eggs, as you can see, are tiny and white, and there are one to three eggs per clutch, and there are one to two broods for the eggs, and the eggs are actually 0.3 inches big, so they're really small, and the eggs will take about 12 to 14 days to hatch, and when the chicks come out, they are naked, but they do have a little bit of gray on their back, and they're also blind and klutzy. As a reference, here is a key placed next to a hummingbird nest with the eggs in it. So as you can see, it's very, very small. All right, so we'd like to thank you guys for watching today's episode of Birding 101. And if you want to see more birding videos, check out our Facebook page or our YouTube channel.